Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x multiplied by x plus x divided by x is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Uh, further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move toward the solution of this problem from first method in the first method you see here this x is divided by left hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this 5 and it will be written as also you see here this x is multiplied by x and it will be written as x square and plus x is equals to this x times of 5 is equals to 5x and now here further in the next step we move this 5x from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x square plus x minus 5x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further we have this is x square and x minus 5x becomes 4x and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, both of these two terms involve x so that we will take common x from here and when we take common x we get the remaining values are from here we get x only minus from here we get 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 4 is equals to 0. So here uh, this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of second value of x is equals to plus 4 because this is negative term when we move it into the right hand side it will become positive. So we get these are the two roots of the given equation. And now here in the next step we need to verify that is both of these two roots are solution or both of these two roots are extraneous roots. So for verification of these roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is x multiplied by x plus x divided by x is equals to 5. And here in this side we will be verify x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify x is equals to 4. So here first we verify x is equals to 0 uh, for this we put x is equals to 0 into the left hand side and we check that is this satisfied or not so when you put it here it will become 0 multiplied by 0 plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 5 okay so here uh, if this is 5 uh, you see here 0 multiply 0 and added by 0 becomes 0 over 0 form is equals to 5 so this is the 0 over 0 form and usually we call that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is uh, undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined or so we say that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of x is equals to 0 is not satisfied over given question statement so we call that x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation so this is the extraneous root uh, and we need to check the second root of this equation so the second root is x is equals to 4 and we put x is equals to 4 into the left hand side and we have this is 4 multiplied by 4 plus 4 divided by 4 is equals to 5 or not and now here again you see that we have this is uh, here we need to take common 4 uh, to the numerator terms and when we take common 4 we get the remaining values are 4 plus 1 and it is divided by 4 is equals to 5. This 4 and 4 are cancelled out by each other and you clearly see here we have 5 is equals to 5. So this shows that both of the sides are equal which means that the value of x is equals to 4 is satisfied our given question statement so we call that x is equals to 4 be the solution set of the given equation which we get here from first method and, and now we again solve this problem from second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x multiplied by x plus x is divided by x is equals to 5 
so here in the second method we quickly get uh, the roots or quickly get uh, the solutions out of this problem so here in this method now we need to uh, break our uh, left hand side so that uh, the left hand side is this is in fraction form so when you break this fraction it will be written as x multiplied by x divided by x plus this is x divided by x is equals to 5 here you see that this x and this x are cancelled out by each other and we get here uh, x plus this and this are also cancelled out by each other we get here 1 is equals to 5 so here further we move plus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes 5 minus 1 so 5 minus 1 becomes here 4 so here in the second method we get only one value of x that is 4 but in the first method we already verified that this value of x is satisfied over given question statement so that the solution set of this problem is x is equals to 4 so this is the only one solution of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos